I am Anil Kumar sharing with you test questions on combination of functions. Here is question number 2 from my student's test paper. The question is, which combination is always an odd function? You are given 4 choices. I would like you to pause the video, copy the question, answer and then look into my suggestion. The very first one is sum of two odd functions, difference of odd and even function, sum of odd function and an even function, difference of two even functions. So you have to tell which combination is always an odd function, right? I hope you remember what odd function is. Odd function is that f of minus x should be equals to minus of f of x, correct? The correct answer is, of course, the very first one, right? sum of two odd functions. If I have to give example of an odd function, it would be kind of like this, x cube plus x odd odd values. Do you see that? So these functions, when you combine all odd functions together, you only get odd function, right? If you add an even function in this, it doesn't remain odd. So if I keep on adding odd functions like x to the power of 5, adding means subtraction also, right? then you will notice that this will be an odd function. For example, what is f of minus x for this given function? Let us replace all x with minus x and check, right? So we get what? We get minus x plus minus x to the power of 5 minus minus x to the power of 7. Now, odd powers will leave a negative quotient, right? So we'll get a negative coefficient for these. So this could be written as minus x cubed plus minus, let me write this as minus x, minus x to the power of 5, and minus minus becomes plus x to the power of 7. Now I can take minus common, right? So if I take minus common, I get x cubed plus x plus x to the power of 5 minus x to the power of 7, which is same as minus of f of x. So this function is odd. So this is just to show you that option 1 is just the right option and it's kind of a review for you on functions. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.